In previous videos, we bought an Ascom with Sol, uh, we built an Ascom as a legacy, and we even cut one in half with a chainsaw. So in this, uh, the last of the Nascom videos, at least for now, um, it's time to put one to good use. Uh, so I thought what I'd do is get this one to play some music. Now I thought I'd start small and get this 1979 Nascom 2 uh, to play the piano. What I needed to do, of course, was to get my head around MIDI. MIDI stands for Musical Instrument Digital Interface, and it's something to do with connecting computers to musical instruments. Now for this exercise, I'll be using some MIDI files. Now MIDI files are binary data, uh, they can be downloaded, um, you can get them on floppy disk. Uh, in my case, they're going to be on a data cassette. They're a fairly simple way of describing music, and it's kind of a digital version of a musical score really. They describe what notes should be played, uh, how fast, and on what musical instruments. Um, at the end of the day though, it's up to the orchestra to decide what instruments to actually play. For the orchestra, we need some MIDI compatible musical instruments. Apparently this giant piano is MIDI compatible. Well, I expect I'll get lynched by a load of kids if I borrowed this. And as I say, I do have some musical instruments here, but to be honest, the piano sound isn't that great. So in my case, the orchestra is going to be this Yamaha sound module. This is a TG100 uh, tone generator. Uh, it's quite new, it's from around 1991, uh, but at least it's connected to a period quad amplifier from 1979. Having said that, I've spent a lot of time refurbishing this amp and a serious number of bits have been replaced, so maybe it's not quite as period as it once was. But it does sound great, especially through these early Wharfdale speakers. We still have a few things missing though, for example we need a means to connect our computer to our orchestra uh, and for that I've built this uh, MIDI interface which has been designed to be plugged into the NASCOM standard PIO port, the parallel port. I'll put it in this fancy box so it kind of matches the NASCOM but somehow I've lost the back of it so unfortunately it doesn't look quite as professional as it should do. The sound module accepts MIDI data as kind of a serial stream of data uh, so this thing is really just a parallel to serial converter taking data out of our parallel port and sending it to our orchestra. Now this thing's just a prototype at the moment, but if I ever get around to sorting it out, I'll stick some information on the description. Um, although to be honest, I can't imagine why on earth you'd want to repeat this exercise. So the second thing we need uh, is some software, something that can read our MIDI file, um, send it through our not quite so professional MIDI interface to our orchestra. So I wrote some. I thought it'd be a simple matter of taking our MIDI data uh, sending it through the not-so-professional MIDI interface uh, to our orchestra. This is what it sounded like. It turns out there's a bit more to it. Um, so after some head scratching and some bedtime reading, um, I realised that the data being sent to the sound module had to be sent in real time. Uh, in other words, a note at a time exactly as it would have been played. It's obvious really, I suppose. Uh, what it means, of course, is that for this to work, the NASCOM has to play the music properly, just as it was written, the timing and everything. This was my second attempt. I did manage to get it sorted eventually, uh, and here's my NASCOM playing the piano properly. In fact, the NASCOM can even play two pianos at the same time. In fact, we can play a whole orchestra as long as there's no more than 16 people playing at the same time. We can even play a bundle of instruments, all played by the same person. Here's Mike Oldfield's Tubular Bells. 
The great thing about getting all this working is that earlier in the year I was able to take my NASCOM to the Centre for Computing History in Cambridge for the synthesised event. I fancied claiming the prize for the oldest computer based MIDI sequencer. Well it turned out that there wasn't a prize for the oldest computer based MIDI sequencer uh, but at least I was able to try playing other musical instruments. So here's the NASCOM playing Elton John's Your Song on Tony Jewell's Sledge Synthesizer and it's a prime example of the orchestra choosing completely different instruments to those intended. I think Elton would have loved it. Now in the background you can see Sheila Dixon's MIDI to SID device, which is a MIDI to SID converter and, and loads more actually. Uh, the NASCOM had a good go at playing that as well. Uh, and it was interesting to hear the NASCOM sounding a bit like a Commodore 64. Now I'll leave a link to her devices and music in the description, uh, but check it out, it's pretty, pretty special. Now as I mentioned earlier, this is probably the last NASCOM video, at least for a while, as I'm keen to start making videos about an Acorn System 3 replica that I'm working on. So for now, I'll let the NASCOM players out with an excerpt from Layla, whilst at the same time asking you to like, subscribe, comment, whatever's appropriate, and I'll see you next time.